The foils are available in three widths 50 cm, 80 cm, and 100 cm. Foils are available with different strengths, watts per square meter or watts per running meter for a given width of the foil. Information about the power parameter is located on the edge of the foil. There are also length, length markers on the me in meters on the edge. We sell films in sections that are multiplies of 1 meter. If you need several strips of foils of the same width and strength, strength it's worth summarizing the sections and ordering them as one. Why? Since the foil can be cut every 25 cm between the graphene areas, the cut debris can be minimized in this way. One foil strip connection set consists of two contacts and four isolators. The contacts are used to connect the power supply. The power supply can be attached to each side of the foil strip. We use isolators to isolate copper foil strips in the place where the foil is cut and where the contacts are connected. The two longer isolators are used to isolate the contacts and the two shorter isolators are used to isolate the copper strips opposite to the contacts. We'll show you how to do this in a moment. You also need a thermostat. We offer Wi-Fi thermostats working on the Tuya Smart Life platform. They have the functions of integration with smart home system and voice control such as Google Home or, or Amazon Alexa. But the use of this function is not necessary. They can be used conventional manually. Foil heating thermostats are supplied, supplied with an additional external floor temperature sensor. It is needed, it must be installed and connected to the thermostat. Let's see how to connect it. We cut the measured section of the foil in the place intended for this. Mark it with a scissor symbol between graphene areas. When cutting, we can see that the foil is laminated very well. It does not bend or break, but with sharp scissors we can easily cut the foil. We insulate the copper element one by one, because this is where the current could leak. In such a situation, the protection of differential switch, which I consider necessary in this type of application, will work. Anyway, they are now even installed in very old installation, electrical installation. The isolator is a bitumen, bitumous mastic. I'm not sure if it is an organic substance or not, but it's worth using original insulator because they work very well and are resistant to high temperatures. The insulator vulcanizes itself over the time and improves the insulation more and more. I do not recommend tearing off the visible outer white foil because the sticky mass will connect any dirt during the installation of heating. In this way we isolate the ends of the copper strips opposite to the connection points at the cut. Here I'm connecting the power supply from one side to two poles. But you can connect each pole from a different side. It depends on your flow layout and incoming power cables. Then we can connect the power supply. I recommended wires with a cross section of 2.5 mm square. It is best to distribute the cables in the skirting board. Supply all perpendicular stripes of the foil on one side. It is worth planning the connections so the 
so that the phase of phase load in the free phase system is even and adopt to the other electric receivers in the house. In another episode you will find a more detailed discussion on this topic. Regarding the connection itself, first connect the terminals to wires, then press the terminals on the foil. Why exactly this order? Because there are two ways to connect the contacts with the wire. You can crimp the contact on the wire and you can also solder the wire to the contact. The latter method is better because it minimizes any resistances present at this point. The lack of voltage drop at this point is important. If the point was not performed correctly, the foil could not heat with the nominal power, because the nominal current would not flow. It is best to pre-clamp the wire in the contact and then we can solder. The contact has not the smallest surface, so the power of soldering iron is important in order to warm up the elements and make a secure permanent connections. This is what a well soldered contact clamp looks like. We connect the clamps to the foil one by one. It is best to cut the foil at this point in order to freely and well position the clamp in relation to the cooper strip. A little more. Then we pre-press the clamp manually and press the next clamp. We can use a dedicated tool, but good tightening with ordinary pillars meet, meets the requirements. After crimping it is necessary to insulate the contact. We connect the second clamp in the same way. In this particular case the foil is placed on the following layers. Lean concrete 5 cm of polystyrene script, anti-moisture foil and ordinary foam for panels. Well, Maybe it's worth paying attention that the foam is not made of materials that are not resistant to higher temperature in some way. We put a heating foil on top of it. So that the foil does not move during assembly, we stick it on the edge to the foam. Here I'm using aluminum adhesive tape as a material resistant to higher temperatures. In the foam, at the point of contact, cut a fragment to level the foil with the contact, where the layer's thickness is greater. And that's it! Let's see how it heats up. We have everything connected, ready for testing. The foil lies on different surfaces. On the terracotta floor, it is not insulated from the bottom. Next, on the floor panels, and then, similarly, on the floor panel lies additionally on the foil, and the last sections, section lies freely. Before turning it on, let's check what the starting, starting temperatures are. At this point, 22.6 degree. Same on the floor panels. Overall, it's 22.5 degrees. So we turn on the power to the foil. Energy heating turn on. Google Home has turned on the heating. Let's see what the smart energy meters shows. It shows the power of 605 watts and the foil and this section is 4.5 meters the foil is 220 watts per square meter and the width is 50 centimeters. So quickly counting, the foil keeps its parameters. Currently, the voltage in the network is slightly higher than the nominal 230 volts. So the power is higher. But what is most importantly, the power of the foil is not understated. This is important. Here we can see the foil heats up immediately. 
we already have 28 degrees and you can see it it is it going up on the panels it will probably take some time as they need to warm up they are slowly warming up now let's check the time we turn it on the power we now have 11.33 am we'll check the temperatures in a while the foil is pleasantly warm we do not feel it on the panels yet in the first minute we can see that the power does not decrease the foil keeps the nominal power while increasing the temperatures Let's see what the situation will look like in 5 minutes. I don't know if it will be visible, but there, is a, there are references on the edge of the foil, including a power of 110 watts, because it is a foil with a parameter of 220 watts per square meter and width of 50 centimeters. We have a, we have a mirror image here. It depends on how we put the foil. The side does not matter. After 3 minutes we see that the terracotta receives heat. However, the temperatures on the panel is clearly higher. 32, 33 degrees and it feels to detach too. The top panel so far do not feel a significant difference. 25 degrees with a piece, that's it. The temperature raises the panel, the panels heat up. After 5 minutes, with my foot in stock, in a place where there is no foil, I do not feel anything special. After the touch of the panels, I feel pleasant warmth. It clearly warms you. It does not burn you, but it clearly and pleasantly warms you. This is the temperature I wish for. This is a temperature of 26-27 degrees. Where there are no upper panels, I clearly feel that it is too warm. I wouldn't like to wall or something like that every day. It's already too warm in, the, in here. However, in a place when there is no insulation, I feel that the foil heats up, while the heat reception by terracotta is significant. The most pleasant temperature is on the top floor panels, where the foil is just below the panels. Here we have ordinary 8 mm thick panels. Vinyl panels have a higher thermal conductivity, so it should only get better. By the way, sometimes panel manufacturers give some temperature parameters that would indicate that the panels are not suitable for this application. It seems to me that the manufacture of panels are probably more about money than reliable data, because when the sun comes through the window and illuminates the floor, it sometimes hit the panel too much higher temperatures, and no one could consider such a situation as a basis for refusing a complaint, because it is natural. It seems to me that it's worth approaching such matters with a certain balanced sense. After less than 10 minutes, the foil maintains its nominal power. In a place with good insulation, without a foil cover, we have temperature of 37 and a little. There are 28 and a half panels on panels and this is very nice and warm place. The conclusion is that the foil is best placed directly under the panels. If we absolutely want a protective layer, let's give it a thin layer. Although, due to the quality of the foil materials and the quality of lamination, it seems unnecessary to me, unless we made an exceptional movable layer of floor panels. From below, insulation is necessary, at least a thin form of about 2 mm. This is a big difference. In this place I feel so warm, so warm. The temperature is 27 degrees here. The terracotta has already warmed up. 
there is a longer time to reach saturation temperature here. It is definitely the warmest here. In contrast, the top floor panels are perfect. Temperature 28 by 10 minutes. After 17 minutes, the foil heats up the time with nominal all the time with nominal power. The temperature on the panel is almost 30 degrees. This is the saturation point of the characteristic. And that's a nice effect. General test conclusions. The foil maintains in nominal parameters. It's worth doing such a test before lying, so the energy returned is in line with our expectations for the finished heating. That's it. Thank you and we, we invite you to visit our store shop sunninhouse.eu where foils, thermostat, connections kits are available everything needed to install underfloor heating we have the best price and quality better house, better life